Hi, this is a quick video to demonstrate the process of scheduling a meeting on Teams so that uh, when you want to have a, a web conference connecting a bunch of users, uh, whether they're in your, in your school or across the state, how you can go about um, setting a meeting time and letting people know about that meeting time, how to get to the meeting and then uh, actually running the meeting itself. So this is uh, uh, just a quick little video that uh, explains all that process. Uh, the typical way to do meetings with Microsoft Teams is by using a tab that's called Meetings, but we don't actually have that in our environment because um, our Office 365 uh, setup doesn't include email. Our email is uh, hosted on-premises with Exchange, but uh, during 2019 we'll be moving email across to Exchange on the cloud or Exchange 365, and we should see uh, meetings come into this uh, options on the left hand side. But you can still schedule a meeting uh, and this is the, the sensible or the practical way of doing it uh, effectively. So across the left here we see a whole lot of teams that I'm a member of. Uh, there's one here called Teams for Yammer users and I'll use that just for this example. And there's inside there a couple of channels. Uh, so we'll go in the general channel and what we'll do is start a new conversation. So what we want to do, this little button here is a, a good one for uh, putting a detailed conversation in rather than something short and quick and in here what we want to say is uh, a subject which is team meeting at 11 a.m. on Thursday and I make it Friday 31 May 2019 so that's our subject and in here uh, please join us for this team meeting uh, hosted on Microsoft Teams. Okay, so what we're doing is just simply creating a post and it's going to sit there in Teams until we come back to it on the 31st of May and we will uh, start our meeting in this particular thread. So we post that. Where's it gone to? Well, it hasn't gone to anywhere. It's just sitting there as a post. But what we can now do is jump across to our Outlook webmail or our full Outlook if we if we have access to that and we go to the calendar and we jump across to the 31st of May and at 11 a.m. we're going to post a meeting so team meeting hosted on Teams and uh, the location is Teams the attendees are going to be whoever whoever we want to add so I can uh, simply pull them out of my address book and pick a number of different people. Uh, I won't bother inviting anybody just now, but I can add people from the address book. And in the location here, this is where we want to say where the meeting is. Now, what we didn't do is back in Teams where we set this conversation, which is where we're going to host the team, we need to go to the three little dots and we need to choose the option that says copy link and that's a link to this direct to this particular conversation so then if we go back to our meeting we can post that's the address you can even post it in here please click on this link to attend our team meeting post it in here and then once we've got our attendees you'd save that and this has now been scheduled. I can adjust the time uh, if I want to, if it's not short or not long enough or whatever, but we'll say it's at a half, half hour meeting. And that's it. And then when the 31st of March comes, uh, of May comes around at 11 a.m., you'll want to come into this meeting, possibly a few minutes beforehand, and you'll want to click on the reply button and choose this option that says meet now. And when you choose meet now, you can say team meeting starting spell starting right that might help and if we choose the option that says meet now it's now connected me uh, I'm on my meeting and I'm waiting for other people to come in and attend and they'll get their notification to say in their Outlook webmail to say that the meeting has been scheduled it's ready now they'll click on the link and they'll be able to join into this meeting as well and if they've got a headset mic like me they'll be able to uh, talk and if they've got a web camera you'll be able to see them as well so I hope that was uh, useful 
it's a, a good way to schedule a meeting so that people can uh, join in at a later stage. How was the call quality? It was great, thank you very much. And that's the end. That's the instructions. Hope it's useful.